Welcome to Virtualize Everything. Today we're going to show you how to use I.O. MMU to pass through PCI devices on your Proxmox system. More precisely, we're going to show you how to set up I.O. MMU to pass through those PCI devices and not actually show you the UI configuration for doing so. That'll be showed later on in some project videos. I hope you enjoy this presentation and you're able to start using or at least turn on I.O. MMU support on your Proxmox system using UEFI. Welcome to Virtualize Everything. Today's video is going to be on something that I wanted to make for a long time. But every time I try to make this video, we've always had a problem. So today we're going to be looking at how to enable support for I.O. MMU on a UEFI booted system. So I specify that we're using UEFI because legacy BIOS booted systems have a different configuration technique. Before we jump into the command line configurations for I.O. MMU, we want to remember to enable it in the BIOS. Everybody's BIOS is going to be a little bit different. And this particular picture is of a BIOS window on an Intel system. And for an Intel system, it's going to be called VT-D. And you can see here that it was disabled. We're going to want to press Enter and then change that to Enabled. Your system may be a little bit different and your locations may be different. So I'm not going to give you an in-depth tutorial on how to do this. Just a reminder that you need to enable this in BIOS. The first thing we're going to want to do to start this configuration is load into Shell. Unfortunately, Proxmox has no graphical user interface for enabling this feature. So we're going to have to select our server and then select Shell. With selecting Shell, we get a window that looks like so. Let me go ahead and blow this up so you can see what we're doing easier. So now with the window enlarged, we can start entering commands. The first command we're going to need to enter is a nano command. This command will be telling us to open a file called CMD line. And during this, all of your boot options are enabled on one line. As you can see, we have nothing configured here. And since we're using Intel, we're going to add the line Intel underscore IO MMU equals on. If we were using AMD, we would enter AMD instead of Intel. Now we'll press Control X, Y, and Enter to go ahead and save this file. And then we can use the Proxmox boot tool and we can refresh this. And we'll use that command Proxmox-boot-tool space refresh. Pressing enter, you'll see that happen. Now we need to go ahead and use nano again. And what this is going to do is it's going to enable some more boot modules that are going to allow us to control the IO support coming out of our PCIe interface with the actual operating system. So this file is going to be etc modules. And again, we'll use nano as the editor to do so. Here's our modules file. We're going to use our down arrow to move below the commented section. And we're going to add these lines here. Now we can go ahead and press control X to save Y and enter and move on with the rest of our steps. Our next step now we enabled these modules is to reboot. So everything will take effect inside the operating system. In order to do that, we'll enter the command reboot. Now that our server is rebooted, let's go ahead and use dmessage and a pipe delimiter to determine whether or not IO MMU support has been enabled. Here's the full command that we'll be using to determine whether or not IO MMU support has been enabled. Pressing enter, we get an output that looks something like this. The line we're looking for should be somewhere near the top. And it's right here, IO MMU enabled. So we know now that we're ready to set up and start using IO MMU on our Proxmox system. 